So, you want to know what the differences are between the new DJI Air 2S and the Mavic Air 2, but don't want to have to wade through the spec sheets or watch a 20 minute comparison video to decide if you want one or not? Well, you don't have to. I'm going to cover off the big differences in less than two minutes, so don't go away. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're in a hurry, timestamps are in the description below. So, unless you've just missed the 14,000 videos by YouTubers who have been gifted a DJI drone three weeks ago and made a review video to be released today, let me fill you in. Yet another drone has been released, this time the DJI Air 2S, the update to the wildly popular Mavic Air 2. So what's the difference between the two drones and do you need one? Well, I'm here to help you answer these questions and this is the Speed Reader's Digest version today, so hang on to your hats, I'm in no mood to muck around. Here, in no particular order, are the key differences you need to know about the two drones, the DJI Air 2S and the DJI Mavic Air 2. And stick around afterwards if you're curious because I'll also cover the not so key differences between the two as well, that are definitely worth taking into account. But as for the big ticket items, as promised, we're going to bang this out in two minutes, so let's get the time on the clock starting now. First up, sensor size. Now this is the major update for this drone release and the 2S has come out swinging with an upgrade to a one inch sensor versus the half inch sensor on the Air 2. Better low light performance and dynamic range is the big selling point here, so if you love filming sunsets and sunrises then this is the one for you. Next is the transmission system. The 2S has inherited the OcuSync 3.0 transmission system. Now this extends the maximum range from 10 kilometers to 12 kilometers, but who needs that distance? Actually, it's probably more about reducing latency so you can use the updated DJI goggles with better performance than anything else. But if you're not into that, then a side benefit will be an even stronger signal connection. OcuSync 2 is amazing but still has the odd dropout in areas with lots of interference. So OcuSync 3.0, whilst not crucial, is very welcome. Then we have video resolution. Now this is extended now in the 2S to include 5.4K up to 30 frames per second. Is 5.4K the new 4K? Not sure, but hell's bells, that combined with a 1 inch sensor and the footage you'll be able to capture will be jaw-droppingly stunning. Now bear in mind, the Mavic 2 Pro with its 1 inch sensor can only capture 4K at 30 frames a second. And also on the 2S, the maximum image size has also jumped up considerably from 12 megapixels to 20 megapixels. Plus, they've also sneaked in an 8x zoom as well, definitely making use of that larger sensor, and why not? Now I don't care who you are, that kind of capability is more than enough for anyone, no matter what. Next they're adding some additional obstacle avoidance or vision sensors. So in the Air 2S you'll have them on the front, back and underside as you do with the Mavic Air, but also now on the top of the drone as well. That only leaves the sides not covered with sensors like you get on the Mavic 2 Pro, but really how often do they come into play anyway? The new angled forward location of the upward sensors on the Air 2S might somehow enhance overall multi-direction obstacle avoidance anyway. So how do we do on the clock? Not bad at all. So those are all the key differences. I told you it'd be fast. And my personal opinion is that whilst a number of those upgrades are certainly welcome and will certainly add to the functionality and appeal of an already hugely popular drone, I don't think any of them are particularly earth shattering. But when we talk a little later about whether or not you should get one, I'll explain why these changes may actually be part of a larger strategy by DJI. But first, what do you think of the major updates versus the Mavic Air 2? Is it enough for you to want to upgrade? Let me know in the comments section below. Now DJI have also made a few other tweaks to the 2S versus the Mavic Air 2, and you could argue that they may fall into the nothing to write home about category, but actually they all add up, and these tweaks in no particular order are, first up, the addition of AirSense technology to all country versions of the Air 2S. Now AirSense is an ADS-B feature that can detect other nearby airplanes, helicopters and drones that are also ADS-B capable. The Mavic Air 2 was the first DJI consumer drone equipped with AirSense technology, but only in some countries. It looks like it's going holeless bolus from now on, and it actually seems like a sensible addition to make this standard, given in some quarters the growing anti-drone sentiment that exists out there. All it takes would be one accident or collision to throw reckless drone use back into the spotlight and ruin it for everyone, which would be a shame given the vast majority of drone owners and users are very responsible flyers. 
The battery does not appear to have any update, however the flight time has dropped slightly from 34 minutes in the Air 2 to 31 minutes in the Air 2S. And I'd say that's less to do with the battery and more to do with the slightly increased weight of the drone, which is going from 570 grams to 590 grams. Again, not a major. Now the lens has had a small update, now featuring a field of view of 88 degrees versus 84 degrees on the Mavic Air 2. And this translates to an equivalent focal length of 22 millimeters on the 2S versus 24 millimeters on the Air 2. So slightly wider framing is now possible and this will make more use of that larger sensor to maximize the video and photo captures you can get. The 2S is actually a fantastic drone, no doubt about it. The improvements in the 2S versus the Mavic Air 2 in some cases are subtle, but actually I think the real comparison we should be making is the 2S versus the likes of the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro, which is currently DJI's current flagship drone. So think about it. The 2S now has better photo and video capture capabilities versus those two higher end drones. It has a faster bit rate and it's smaller and more convenient given its more portable form factor. If I was to be picky, the only extra things the Mavic 2 Pro has going for it are the additional side obstacle avoidance sensors and its ability to operate in temperatures down to negative 10 degrees Celsius versus 0 degrees for the 2S. But come on, seriously? We're not talking showstoppers here are we? With the 2S I think you're looking at the new king of the crop, for now, until the Mavic 3 comes out. But that's a whole other video. As for the big question, should you get it? Well. This is a toughie with two clear options in my mind. In my humble opinion, if you have the Mavic Air 2 and it's doing everything you want and giving you everything you need, for example, you're an occasional to semi-regular flyer and or hobbyist, you get footage to add into your personal family or YouTube videos, then personally, I probably wouldn't upgrade. As tempting as it is to get a brand spanking new toy. But if the Mavic Air 2 is one of your main tools of your trade, you use it for client work or you sell images or video, and you currently use the Mavic Air 2 or even Mavic Pro or Mavic 2 Pro, then yep, I do reckon it's worth it. The sensor size and increased resolution alone could be an absolute game changer for you. However, and it's something you need to think about and consider, if you do currently have the Mavic 2 Pro and are always keen to have the best and brightest drone available, then it may be worth waiting a little for the Mavic 3. DJI have been putting so much effort into upgrading the Mini and the Air models over recent years that they've kind of taken their eye off the ball from their top end, and some of their competitors, you could argue, have stolen a bit of ground from them. The Autel Evo 2, for example, that was released at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in 2020, is arguably already a better drone. So this means an update to the Mavic 2 Pro, or in other words, the Mavic 3. And it's not far away. But as I said before, that's for another video. Now, if you really want to take your drone photography up a notch without spending all that money, you may well be considering the new DJI Air 2S. However, if you've got the Mini 2, this is still an amazing little drone for the money and you can get some stunning results, just like these. Now, I've made a video that breaks down a simple and easy method that I use to get these sorts of results with my DJI Mini 2. So click the link on the screen and I'll take you through it. Cheers, guys.